Hey guys, Moss is here from Zelda Dungeon, and uh, welcome to a new series we have at the website. And uh, this is a Let's Play, and uh, we are looking at Zelda Classic. Uh, Zelda Classic was initially a online version of the original Legend of Zelda. However, it soon expanded to have a custom quest builder, and the, thus there are tons of custom quests. Uh, the one in particular that I'm going to be playing through in this Let's Play is the Lost Isle. It's one of the most popular and largest quests that they have. So uh, I'll have links below in the description on how to go about downloading Zelda Classic and where you can download the Lost Isle version of the game. But uh, So welcome to Let's Play Lost Isle. After defeating Ganon, Link sets sail with a Hylian crew in hopes of finding new lands and adventures. As they travel along the Voluvian current, an unexpected storm approaches to test the strength of Link's ship and crew. Link is about to get into an adventure he was looking for, but not the kind of adventure he was hoping for. So right away it seems very reminiscent to that of uh, Link's Awakening. It's like, hmm, we're on a boat, we just defeated Ganon, looking for another adventure, and we get caught up in the storm, and of course there's heavy rain, thunder, and lightning, and look, it's even got the little scene from Link's Awakening. He just pulled that straight off the intro from Link's Awakening. And then what do you know? Well, here we are at Koholan Island. No, not really. Lost Isle. Press, well, not start, but press down. Okay. And the Sand Crab just runs off with our little sword. Don't know if that's the Master Sword, just a regular sword. Ow, my head. Where am I? Apparently Link talks in this game. Well, that couldn't, well, that could have gone better. Not sure where the rest of the crew went, but at least I'm alive. That was quite a storm. I've... Never seen a squall with that much force before. Hmm, looks like my sword went missing. Maybe it drifted ashore with the rest of the debris. Might as well scout around and see what I can find here. So it's very reminiscent of Link's Awakening in that you start the game on an island and your sword is missing. Uh, also sort of like uh, Toke Island from uh, Oracle of Ages since I... Uh, well, at least that's what I... It reminds me of when the sand crab just grabs your stuff. Because that exact same thing happened at the beginning of, uh... Or not the beginning, but when you got to Toke Island in Oracle of Ages. And already, I've got a very annoying beep. Which is... Anybody who's played Zelda knows how annoying this is. Anyway, I've played through the early portion of this game already. Uh, by early portion, I basically mean up to the first dungeon. So, that theme is awesome, but it got totally ruined by the heartbeat. Alright, give me health. Health, health. That's not health. Come on, you stupid keys. Health. Health? Not health. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, so just... Okay, I got it. This is driving me insane. Give me some health. No, not an arrow. I think there's some health in uh, these, I guess they're pieces of grass or bushes. Why they are inside of a cave is beyond me. That doesn't really make logical sense. Okay, come on, seriously, no health? Health? Oh, jeez. I can't die on the, like, fourth screen of the game. Alright, this is ridiculous. Nothing is giving me health. During my uh, test run, I was getting health was not nearly this hard to come by. There we go. All right. So now that that beep is gone, I can continue talking about the game. Uh, so as I mentioned, I actually played through the very early portions of this game up into the uh, up until the entrance of the first dungeon. Uh, thus, so I sort of know what I'm doing. And, uh, but beyond the first dungeon, it'll probably be a little more of a blind playthrough. 
uh, just because uh, I want you guys to follow along with me. It's not exactly going to be like a walkthrough, this is more of a let's play. So um, I encourage you all to download the game yourself and, uh, well, play along. What has happened to the village? Here, why is there no people? I don't know. Good question. Um, so I'm going to be talking more about the quest and everything as I go on. And uh, For now, we're just wandering through this village. And our first, uh, like as I said, since I've played this portion before, your first... Oh wait, cutscene. My baby, help me find my baby. Yes, sir. I like how you can control Link during the cutscene, but you can't move him. Just turn. Uh, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Actually, I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, so we are wandering through town, and uh, our first mission is to get some bombs. And uh, there's a lot of different ways you can get bombs. Uh, one of them is just wandering through town and around the overworld and just killing an endless amount of enemies and just hoping that some enemy drops bombs. Uh, that's very unlikely. Another way is you can actually enter this building right here, which is at the southwest corner of town. Uh, and they sell, it's, it's basically a shop and it sells bombs, but uh, they cost, I think, like 130 rupees. Or, well, it's not rupees in this game, it's arrows, sort of like the original Legend of Zelda where rupees and arrows double down as the same amount. However, I found out that there's actually some bombs right here on this screen underneath that top bush, the like top middle bush. So just slash away and bombs, yay! So uh, you'll need at least, uh, well, I don't know, two or three of them I think right now, but uh, there's a few uh, a few goodies we need to get in town in order for us to progress in the main quest and make our way to the first dungeon. Uh, most notably, as this video is sort of titled, is the bow and arrow. So uh, that's the first uh, journey of sorts. Uh, in, in town, there's a bunch of houses and a bunch of little caves or whatever. Uh, basically, if the door exists, that means you can't go in, so, like, this door. However, some of them you can bomb, and this particular is one of the ones you need to bomb. And I think one of the ghosts that, that you see in a cutscene gives you that hint that uh, you can bomb one of these things. Um, one thing I encourage you all to do is just walk around the overworld a little bit and uh, get familiarized with the overworld in particular. Uh, there's a little secret over here. There's a little staircase behind this bookshelf. And it takes you into this massive underground cave that virtually covers the entire village. Uh, and we'll be coming back to this uh, throughout the next uh, short while. Alright, don't do that. Go back, Link. Uh, but as I was saying just a moment ago, I encourage you to walk around the overworld just to familiarize yourself with the overworld map. Uh, the overworld map is gigantic. Like, I mean bigger than any overworld map maybe in the entire Zelda series gigantic. It's huge, like almost too big. Uh, so much so that uh, the reason I, I, well originally I was recording this playthrough uh, on my, just like it was going to be a completely blind playthrough. And then I realized that I ran around for about maybe an hour and ten minutes, couldn't find, like I couldn't even get this far, I didn't even get to this cave. And um, I was just going in circles in the endless overworld that I was basically going through. And it's just so confusing, so that's why I uh, encourage you to follow me along for this video, and then maybe beyond this one, you can uh, do things on your own. So uh, here we have uh, Aquamentus. I like how he sort of gets uh, demoted from being the dungeon boss in the original Legend of Zelda for the first dungeon to just some random enemy inside of a cave. And inside we have... You got Odera Bow. Not the Odera Bow. What is Odera? I guess that is the island or something. Um, but just like the original Legend of Zelda, the bow does nothing in that... It doesn't really do anything by itself. You need to get the bow, and you also need to get some arrows. And uh, it's kind of confusing, but the arrows that we 
collect as like currency. Those count as arrows in the sense that once we get, once we are able to use the bow, we can shoot arrows. However, those arrows don't allow us to use the bow. So there are arrows you can collect that are currency, and there are also arrows that, uh, well, we will just, um, they're all, like, we, we have to collect the arrow. It's just like an item, sort of like how you purchased it in a shop in the original Legend of Zelda. Uh, in any case, that's all we can do at this portion of the cave. I could have head south here, but it leads to a dead end, and uh, it leads to, like, the other part of the cave that uh, we need to find a different entrance to. So we want to head back through here and uh, get back into town. And uh, let's continue. We want to make our way back to... It was basically the first screen when I entered town. The town is huge, by the way. It's uh, uh, like Honestly, it's one of the biggest towns in the whole game, too. I did discover this during my playthrough earlier, but uh, there's that little hole right here by the weathercock. You can place a bomb right there and create a staircase. I'm not exactly sure what that leads to. I couldn't figure it out, but uh, perhaps something later on in the quest. Oh, cutscene. I, like I like the noise of these ghosts when they like just pop up and appear. Beware, dear Odirans. Great evil lives on the island. Alright, thanks for the heads up. I guess Odarens. This must be Odare or something. The land of Odareville or whatever. Alright, from this screen, we want to go back. To, uh, this is where we want to go. Oh, wait. Another cutscene. Get over here, you ghost. They're coming to the shelters. Okay. Thank you for that note. I think I went one screen too far to the right, perhaps. I think I gotta go down from here. Is that right? Hi, right, Stalfos. Yeah, this is the screen. So this is where, uh, at least I first entered town. There's like 15 en entrances to town, so uh, it's easy to get lost. But it there has to be an entrance to this house, so... Vintage Zelda classic puzzles. <laughs> Uh, over here is another one of these cryptic, uh, hidden secrets. Just walk behind the bookshelf. I guess if you ever see a bookshelf, just walk behind it. So now we're sort of at the south end of that same cave we were at earlier. Uh, like the north part of this particular screen we could have got to earlier, but, uh, well, we couldn't do anything about it. Uh, but from over here, uh, come on, Link, go through, there we go. Some more keys and, uh, some more Stalfos. And uh, just a trivia question, mindless Zelda trivia. I believe Stalfos were in. They're one of. Uh, they almost have perfect attendance in the Zelda series. They were in virtually every single Zelda game. Uh, in fact, the first Zelda game they were not in was, I believe, Majora's Mask. Although they were sort of like the e in Ikana, there was uh, there was some form of a Stalfos in a way, but not standard Stalfos. And I'm not sure... I think that's it. I think they were... They've been in every other game, too. Anyway, here's a little switch, and it lowers the spikes. Uh, we're not... We can't actually get to that area yet, so maybe that is just for much later on in the quest. So I figure I might as well step on it now. And... Oh, no! The beep is back! Oh, goodness. Please give me... Health... Health, health, beep needs to go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, God. So, over here, we are gonna run into, well, look at here, Aquamentus, and I'm probably gonna die. No! No! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, he's hiding behind the spikes. Alright, you better come forward. Don't die. Don't get dead. Ah, health. Thank you. Alright, so we've already beaten Aquamentus twice and we haven't gotten to the first dungeon. 
And over here we have... You got wooden arrows! Again, not you got THE wooden arrows, or... And those wooden arrows look more like a shovel to me. But, uh, alright, so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. We got the bow, and we got the arrow. So, uh, you can actually cycle through, you can, uh, depending on what you put your buttons, but if you look at my B button at the top, I, I, if you press R or L, you can cycle through your weapons right away. So I have, obviously, bombs and the bow, which looks like a shovel to me. But, uh, it's, it's cool that you can quickly shuffle through and, uh, basically, yeah, select your items and such. But uh, that's pretty much all we have to do in this video, or that's all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to make my way back to the entrance of the cave. Uh, I hope you liked this uh, video so far, this uh, this playlist, playthrough. Uh, I encourage you all to download the game and play along, and, uh, you know, we can solve the puzzles together. And if you find something that I didn't uncover yet, uh, go ahead and post it in the comments. I'll be reading them. So uh, I will see you guys next time, and we will head over to level one. Take care, guys. Let me just get back to the village. And yay, so long.